lights out for the third race and bogging down slightly was Hauger off the line. It's going to give an opportunity to Doohan to beat him down to turn one. It's a very long run down to turn one though. We're going very wide indeed. The Nini's got a good launch off the line. Four wide into turn one. Who's going to judge this one? Hauger responds after a poor start that meant that we went four wide. He responds deep into the braking zone. He's got the lead. Then it's Martins in P2. Nanini is P3 and they're all figuring out the order behind as we go through uh, turn three with Hauger, Duan, then Martins, uh, and uh, Duan's dropped back. Duan dropped back, didn't he? Duan dropped back at the end there. So it's Hauger, and then it's Martins, then it's Danini, the top three as they head to turn five. It was Novelak fighting in the middle of the pack. Great launch from Hauger's Vesti continues to battle away through the midfield down into turn number five. But Hauger was so, so brave on the brakes down to turn one after what was a pretty difficult launch for him. Uh, both Martins and Doohan appeared to have the best of him off the line. But as they continue to battle, and oh goodness me, we've got cars off in turn nine. Hauger extremely brave. Martins staying with him around the outside. Nanini got shuffled out a little bit then, uh, and but keeps his foot in very, very bravely around the outside of turn two. And that's uh, Martins doing Ooh. that same move. We saw Rasmussen do that in qualifying, didn't we? But he manages to keep it on the black stuff. Clear mistake, obviously, that's cost him a position. Younger brother of Charles, currently in 15th position. He was pretty happy with his performance yesterday, despite the penalty as he looks down to the inside. And that's a lovely late move from Arthur Leclerc. You know, that new corner where they can't overtake. And through he goes. This is Formula 3, Alex. This is Formula 3. Of course you can overtake. Come on, the car in front let's get to the Come on. Being given the motivation on the radio there because well, Correa no longer part of that DRS trend. 15 to go. Now, this is a big opportunity for Jack Doohan. And the driver from the Gold Coast has got the DRS. Now he's got third position. Chops across to defend it. That move has been coming from a long time. The Trident of Doohan appears to have the pace late on. And this is Arthur Leclerc making the move on one Manuel Correa. That has been coming for a couple of laps. And he has made the pass. Villa Gomez uh, making contact. And there's a puncher at the back there. We've got the move then happening now at the front. There goes Doohan down the inside of Nanini in turn one. Nice and clean. Lovely late move for Doohan. And he's got it done. And now Nanini's got a problem with Martins being next up to push him down into turn number four. Okay, he's struggled more than you. We need to pass him now. Let's go, Victor. Victor Martins down at turn one. Is he about to go wheel to wheel? These two debated victory yesterday. They're about to duel right now for fourth place. But the DRS is helping Caldwell get past, and that's P4 on what is turning into a very strong weekend for the British driver. Here comes Novelak then, and there's that move. Oh, Novelak no, getting past up to sixth position. He's tried for a long time, and he has made the move on Sergeant Vesti, trying to go to the inside. Vesti gets past Sergeant as well, and Kyle Collette will be desperate to try and move through as well. And that's really peculiar looking at that because Logan Sargent actually did have DRS down that straight. So has he got a problem? Has he got something that's holding him back in a straight line? Yes. Uh, very, very wide indeed for Sargent. And that's what's held him up. But it's really a, a very strange line. I, re I reckon it's going to be a bit of oversteer then maybe through the exit of uh, turn 16. Just runs super wide. Interesting one for, for Sargent. Sergeant now trying to keep Colette behind. This is the battle for eighth position. Novelak putting pressure ahead on Victor Martins. And they are debating the positions all the way through to the end. Stanek is going to be trying to get past Sergeant now. Well, it could have been victory yesterday for Dennis Hauger. It slipped through his fingers. He would have been determined to put it right. And Dennis Hauger will put it right. At the end of lap 22, Hauger sees the checkered flag first and delivers, converting pole position into victory in Barcelona. Yes, boy. That's how you bounce back. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank you, boys. Love you guys. Oh, finally. You are an F3 race winner, mate. You are an F3 race winner. First of many. Mega, mega race. Mega, mega race. So well managed. When you deliver with those Red Bull logo 
on your uh, overalls. You know you've got a good chance of climbing the ladder. It is Dennis Hauger's first win in Formula 3. Uh, Matteo Nannini with a second career podium in Formula 3, first of the season. Strong weekend for Ollie Caldwell, then Victor Martins ahead of Clement Novelac, then Vesti, Colette, Sargent hanging on to the last of his tyres for P9 ahead of Roman Stanek. And an understandably delighted podium with Hauger taking the lead of the Driver Championship. We will see you in France when the ever-entertaining championship Formula 3 returns.